what is today? Wednesday, August 22nd. And my audit exam, I haven't really talked about the CPA exam in a couple of vlogs because I have just stopped studying intensely for like a month and a half. I have studied every day, but it's not been very intense. So my exam is scheduled for September 10th, which is a Monday, and it's the very last day of the testing window. But I've been scoring really well on the MCQs and the simulations. So yesterday I had the spontaneous decision to schedule my exam for tomorrow. So I just feel like now that I'm hot, I'm doing well, I am studying really, I'm like in the zone. Um, I am moving to Knoxville this weekend in a brand new apartment. I'm not gonna have internet for like a week, so I won't be able to study that well without internet. It's gonna be a very stressful time moving. Um, I just, there's a lot going on right now. So I just decided to take the exam tomorrow. Yesterday at work, I had a pretty stressful day at work. Um, I ended up having a mental breakdown in the middle of the day. Way too much going on. I'm having, I was having too much with this internet set up for the apartment. I was just stressed out for like, no concrete reason, just everything coming together. Got home from work exhausted, like brain dead exhausted, and ended up taking my last mock exam for audit and passed it. I wasn't even gonna look at this score. I swear I failed it. I was like, that was a horrible exam. I kept telling myself it's gonna be harder than the real exam, yada, yada, yada. Um, so I took a shower and I wasn't gonna look at the score and I actually passed it with an 80. So you guys will be with me tomorrow. I'm going to go take the exam. It's in a new testing center. Uh, the testing center's not new. I'm new to the testing center. So it's the Knoxville one, not the Nashville one. Where is my hotel? Here it is. Whoops, excuse me. So I just wanted to pop in and give you guys that update. Um, I will take you guys with me tomorrow throughout the exam process. It is audit for the third time. I have failed it twice before with a 60 the first time. Super embarrassing. I'm an auditor, yes. And a, should I park beside a sketchy black van? At least it ain't a white van selling candy. And I scored a 73 the last time I took it. So I'm two points away. I think I'll be fine. Um, I think, but I thought I was fine before and I wasn't, so we'll see. Okay, good morning guys. It is 6.30 in the morning. So I'm gonna go to work from seven to 10, which will be three hours. And then I'm gonna come back to the hotel and then eat some lunch. I don't know what I'll get, probably something delivered. Um, and then go take my exam from 1.30 to however long it takes. And then I'm driving to Nashville. The exam's four hours, driving is three. So that's my 10 hour day that we're required to work. I can't believe I literally scheduled this thing the day before yesterday and I'm literally taking it today. But I am so glad. I really am. I feel ready and I feel comfortable about this decision. So we will see when the results come out. Guys, I grabbed my good luck orange and it's not free. So they just threw a fit over me grabbing an orange. I was like, are you kidding me? I'm not paying for this. Oh, may I take it or please? Can I just take a medium coffee with two cream? Anything else? No, that'll be it. 109? Perfect. Every McDonald's in the nation has dollar coffee, except for Nashville, Tennessee. Okay, my co-workers are already here. Being good little co-worker, good employee, good job, pat on the back. Do not take my parking spot heifer, do not take my parking spot. This little heifer took my parking spot yesterday. He's about to do it again. Oh, you son of a gun. He took my parking spot. I don't know who it is. It's not one of us. Make me park way over here like a crazy person. He doesn't even know what he did. That is heaven's spot. I've got like hundreds of spots to choose from, but that's my spot. Let's hope Jimmy John's is good luck. <laughs> There's no parking spots. Now I have to park at a freaking candle store for four hours while I take an exam. They better not tell me put a boot on this car. I dare them to do it. What's this other business? Feeding the orphans? I already missed my Nashville testing center. Okay, real briefly before I go inside, the thoughts before this exam, it is my third audit exam, so I have seen this thing twice. I mean, no, no exams are identical, but um, same content. I feel ready, I, I do feel prepared. Um, from what I've learned from my prior exam experience and with Reg, 
the results of the exam, whether you pass or fail, for me, is 100% dependent on the simulations given on the exam. So, multiple choice, if I had to assume, I, I would say I score average, maybe right at 80% or so. The simulations are not quite, you know, high enough for me to pass the exam overall, and it is 50% of the exam. So, that's really my biggest worry every time is what are my simulations going to be because that's something you cannot prepare for and if you are not experienced with the exam yet if you have not started studying it you're probably like what the heck is a simulation it's kind of hard to explain um, but there will there will never be an identical simulation from your study material on your exam you just have to know you have to study and know the concepts and then the real life task-based simulations actually what's called tbs's on the exam, you just have to hope that you know enough knowledge to answer them. They are they do give partial credit, um, but each one is very lengthy. There's lots of exhibit tabs, lots of Excel spreadsheets, sometimes Word documents you have to read um, and apply that knowledge and answer the questions. Um, so basically, especially on the audit exam, it gives you a bunch of audit evidence and you take all the evidence from the client um, and read it all and then you answer the questions that it asks you about. So. We'll see, I do feel good about it. Um, so I am kind of excited to get this exam over with, hopefully for the very last time. Wish me luck, guys. I have prayed really hard for this. <laughs> we will see. So I finished the exam like an hour ago. I've been driving, talking to people on the phone. That exam experience was the worst testing experience I have had so far. That was my fourth exam total. The, the waiting room was crowded, the exam room was full, so they're like waiting for people to finish. So 40 minutes later, I finally get to go in and check in and sit down and whatever. And then question number six, I'm like from the very beginning, test lit one, I'm on the sixth question. I just started the exam and my computer restarts shuts down it makes a system administrator come in type in a code so like 25 minutes later i finally get to finish taking my exam i wasn't allowed to go to the bathroom at that time or you know leave i had to just sit there and wait for them but all of us cpa candidates in the room had the same problem at the same time it's so odd it's like the most expensive exam the most uniform and whatever exam and it's the only one messing up like hey guys cpa what's going on bruh so that happened and then I was super calm for the exam and normally I'm super anxious. I have really bad test anxiety. I freak out. I literally can't focus and can't think straight when I take an exam. But today I was just, I felt great. I was like, I'm going to score 100. This is so easy. It's my third time taking this exam. Like I've got this. I wasn't worried at all. So test like number two is multiple choice. I just started test number two. I'm on like question three or four and my stomach decides we don't like the Jimmy John's I just ate so it starts gargling and digesting really loud and painful almost. my stomach is literally doing cartwheels and I'm like something's gonna happen and so ha half of my focus is like oh my god do not throw up I was getting really nauseous I was getting clammy my heart rate is racing because I feel like I'm gonna puke in the middle of an exam I get sweaty and I was only on like question six at this point on the whole, there's like 36 and you can't get up in the middle of the exam. You have to wait until you have a break, which is at the end of each test lit. And the time still runs. You don't get to stop the clock. The time runs when you take these little breaks. So I hurry up and run through test lit two, multiple choice. I did not reread anything. I went all the way through, just answered the one that I thought was right, which I do not do. I'm very thorough with multiple choice, especially because each little word will hang you up. But I didn't have time for that because as soon as I got to that th question 36, I was like, take a break. And I got up as fast as I could. I signed out, did my fingerprint, took my picture, and ran to that bathroom. Y'all, it was not pretty. My stomach just was like, Jimmy Johnson's got to go. <laughs> this is so much TMI. But just know if it's happened to you, you're not the only one. So anyways, I come back in and finished the exam, and, or I took the rest of the exam, and I was feeling fine after that. It was okay. My stomach still right now does not feel 100%. It's just kind of queasy a little bit, but I'm still able to function. Um, but that first, that Tesla too, I was about to lose my mind and panic because I felt trapped and suffocated and I was about to puke, but I made it through the rest of the exam. And that, honestly, the exam itself was very, very difficult. The simulations, the multiple choice was normal. Um, a lot of them were really easy, some of them were difficult, but whatever. But the simulations on this exam, 
It makes me want to slap somebody. Like, how do you expect somebody to know these answers? But, oh my word. Just ridiculous. So, to be completely honest, how I feel about the exam was that it did not go well. I felt like I passed the last one. I was certain I passed the last one and I failed it. So, the fact that I don't feel like I passed this one means it's not going to be pretty. So, I will probably be taking it a fourth time. And I am an auditor and I cannot pass audit. Oh my word. So, all that being said, I will talk to you guys when I get my results, which is like September 17th, September 19th, September 20th, something around the mid-September. So that's when you guys will see this next clip because I'm going to put this all together on one video. So see you guys then. Okay, you guys, it's time to check my CPA exam results. You're going to have to deal with this really bad lighting. I am in a parking garage. It is my lunch break. So I'm going to check. The results were posted last night at 10 p.m. apparently, and my coworker checked his as soon as he got here this morning. And I've been here since 7 and have not checked. So willpower this is for you guys so you guys can watch me check them otherwise i would have checked them already this will be my regulation exam that i took way back in july um first take for regulation the exam is changing next year so i am hoping so bad that i passed it but i don't think i did i honestly that was a it was okay it was just not the best exam it was very difficult i'm also about to check my third take of audit which you guys saw earlier in the vlog which was weeks ago for me I had to connect my cell phone hotspot to get internet because I'm in a parking garage and Wi-Fi does not reach out here. Hey guys, I'm about to click the button. I'm about to click the button. I'm so scared. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. I'm so scared. I don't want to do this because what if it ruins my whole day? Like if I fail them both? Oh my gosh. I don't even know. I don't have a plan studying forward because I'm going to retake whichever one I failed slash what if I failed them both. Then I would retake regulation because it's about to change completely. Okay, enough talking. <sighs> okay, okay, okay. I'm scared. <laughs> okay. ah! I looked at my auditing score, guys. I failed audit. I failed audit a third time. Okay. Okay, I need to look at regulation. <laughs> this could be really bad. So <gasps> oh my god! I passed reg! Ah! I passed reg! Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, so I scored a 79 on reg. Oh my word. Okay, I passed reg. I'm so excited. On it, I scored a 72. Ah! God, I have taken auditing three times and I'm an auditor. Oh my God. But that's okay because I'd rather pass reg. Oh my God. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. I don't have to redo reg with the new stuff unless I can't pass the rest of my exams in a freaking year and a half and it lapses and I have to retake regulation. Worst case scenario. Oh my God. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> So I'm going to eat my lunch and celebrate in peace by myself in my car in a parking garage over the small victory of passing one exam. The irony that I'm an auditor, can't pass audit, took it three times, but I passed regulation the first time? What? Maybe I'm in the wrong field. <laughs> Maybe I need to be working in tax. So I just got home from work. It's like 7 o'clock and I'm prepping some chicken because the girl's hungry for some success because I finally passed the reg and I'm so excited. That was so cheesy. Ignore it. So thank you guys so much for watching. Comment below if you guys just got your score results back. And uh, I wish everybody luck with this exam process. Thanks for following along my journey. It is a very rocky mountain that I am climbing with no cleats. You know what I mean? It's a struggle. I will see you guys next time on my next video. Goodbye.